Eat some wheels. Good as new. Appreciate it. Meet you there, Oluso. El Tigre. I'm at the Crab Rock. Very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we Garriers are like the crabs. Hard shells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to La Revolución. See, si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain, very easy. A guerrilla must be short-footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Pinga. What an animal! Coño! Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. El Tigre, I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are Garia's best friends. So is a handful of grenades. Yeah, I get it. Hi. We are with you. This will be easy, he says. Be like a goat, he says. Looks so peaceful from up here. Goats. Fucking show offs. Unblock it. Exactly. <laughs> I love it.
Can really disappear up here. Would make an army blind. How is the air both thick and thin at the same time? Look out below! Okay, I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the soldado would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave, too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many guerrillas are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us. It's our actions. It's like therapy. <sighs> El Tigre, I'm at the statue. Ah, Lobo. A revolutionary, a warrior, and a dear friend. Killed in combat when we stormed Esperanza in 67. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two bottles of rum. One for me, and one for Lobo. You never live to see a free Yara. To be honest, neither did I. This is the last pick. Felicidades! You're at the top of the world! Now get down here! You're missing all the fun, baby tigre! El tigre! What a Danny! What the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Never do that again. What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there. Who are actually hurt. I am suffering. Ay, easy, mama. Her piece doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Looks like La Morale to me. I'm Dani Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on our side, heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. A faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled. My baby Tigre. Come here. No more heart. Clara, I've met the legends. El Tigre is the only one on board with Libertad. 
Okay. If we want these cranky old guerrillas to help Libertad, we need Lucky and Lorenzo on board. So here's what we're going to do. Ever since Anton got obsessed with the cancer drugs and making Viviro, finding medical supplies for Lucky's clinic has been impossible. So I bribed a pilot to fly some in. When the supplies arrive, we tell Lucky they're a gift from Libertad, and boom, everybody's friends. Perfect plan, right? Well, it would have been if some hijo de puta didn't shoot down my chopper. Go get those supplies before someone else does, baby tigre. Remember the three guerrilla principles. Always be moving. Always be on guard. Always kill your enemy before they kill you. I'm here for my monthly checkup. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry I couldn't do more for you last time. Most of my supplies were confiscated. They took over my clinic in La Hoya. Maybe I should play a game. Hope you play like him too. something about it. What the fuck am I supposed to do about it? on it. Knew you would come begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. Tres, cuatro. Nice throw. Name's Danny, Danny Rojas. Uh huh. Company! Over there, by the chopper! Got her up.
You've got talent, Libertad, but Yelena needs these supplies. You got wounded. Yelena's your boss? Yeah. She's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring these to the legends. Libertad wants the legends of 67? <laughs> half of Yara thinks they're dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral thinks they're full of shit. But I majored in history. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. I'll tell you what. You give me these supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño. Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Danny, you get us a chopper? Then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. Whatever. Here, girl. One of our soldiers. Danny, right? You need a chopper? Well, you won't get very high in the sky while that fucking anti aircraft cannon is up. Do everyone a favor and destroy it. It's next to an old Spanish military tower along the western coast. That is a lie. The only blood I want to see is the blood of the Libertad like a good place to raise a family. Fucking piece of shit. Fuck. They're monitoring the airspace. Better stay grounded here. Attention, unidentified pilot. This airspace is restricted. Land now. Perfect. Danny, be careful. There's an enemy chopper creeping the skies nearby. Just make sure you're not underneath when I shoot it down. Of the revolution. You gotta sign my pants. Como se llama, señorita? Honron. Eh. I'm with La Moral. Uh, La Moral? Terroristas. Honron, this is Lorraine. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. At least we're not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? 
Go, check out a Bio Vida facility. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. No, you know what? Fuck you. La moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Moral. There is a difference between playing with guns and fighting La Revolution. El Tigre. Sí. They're big on lectures. If these abuelos want to live in the museum, whatever. I can leave Puerta. But maybe I borrow some souvenirs. Talk to me when you got a minute. Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too, even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Moral was smart. This camp needs young blood. You mean the Hope you have good camera skills. What do you kids say? No filter? To think I looked up to these ancianos. Don't waste your time. We're freeing El Este with or without them. You need to talk to my boss, Yelena. And you need to see our operation up close. Swing by El Agujero is La Moral's badass headquarters in Concepcion. Say this password to our doorman. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. I'll tell Yelena you're on your way. Baby Tigre, while you're at the facility, there's someone I want you to look for. Who? Her name's Gabriella. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo... Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits, until one day she told us she had some good news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. My neighbor thought he saw her at that Biovira place. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened. <sighs> when you close your eyes, and you hear the word paradise, what do you see? <laughs> do you see fire and blood? There's the officer in charge. What Hinga? What the fuck are they doing? Hinga? What the fuck are they doing to these poor people? I need more pigs. Is this what they are doing to all the outcasts?
There's something under the water. What the fuck is in the lake? What's up, Honron? There's some things you need to know about Yelena. She's mad smart, computer science major, programmer. People think she's just a power nerd, but when this shit goes down, she's a fighter. How did a programmer become a guerrilla leader? Guess you didn't see the video. Before there was a La Moral, Admiral Benitez executed our classmates. Binga. They got that on video? No. The next day, soldados stepped to us at the funeral. Yelena led us in the fight. We took out like a hundred soldados. That ship was on video. One hundred soldados? Okay, maybe like fifty. Fifteen. Oh, no. I gotta go. Just put a soldado near your stash with his pants down. Literally. He's pissing and he doesn't see me. <laughs> I'll call you back. Coño. They're using humans like rats. What are they testing? Castillo's not going to get away with this. I need more pigs. Look like cages, but for what? Al carajo. So many dead bodies in the water. This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. El Tigre, I've got the pigs. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay, get those photos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. Los guerrillas need help. Better watch myself here. That's not good. Now that's what you get.
We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place Honron was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Libertad and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste. That's the bien. You should be three.